Providing clean, safe, reliable water to your tap is Denver Water's mission. While the water we send to your home is clean and safe to drink, construction work on water delivery pipes in your neighborhood or at your home can temporarily affect your water's quality and appearance. To make sure your water is safe and clean, your pipes and plumbing should be flushed after the following types of construction. Lead service line replacement, new water main installation on your street, or if there's been a water main break that impacts water service near your home. Flushing is needed because dirt and debris can get into your home's plumbing while crews are working on the pipes. In the case of lead service line replacement, tiny particles of lead can get into the water during construction. Service lines are the pipes that connect the water main in the street to your home's internal plumbing. Customers own the service lines. Denver Water owns the water mains. Here are the steps to flush your pipes and plumbing properly. First, unscrew and remove the aerators or screens from all of your faucets. You may need an aerator key or tool to remove recessed or hidden screens. If the aerator is stuck, wrap a cloth around the faucet and use a vice grip, wrench, or pliers to loosen it up. Take the aerator apart and then soak all of the parts in white vinegar for five minutes. Then gently scrub them with a brush. Doing these steps will get rid of any lead or debris that may be caught in the screen. While the aerators are off, it's time to flush the pipes. If it's warm enough, turn on an outdoor spigot, run it for two to three minutes, and turn it off. Then go inside and fully open all of the cold water faucets. Start on the lowest level of the home and work your way upstairs. This includes every sink, bathtub, and shower, so they are all running at the same time. Let the cold water run for 30 minutes, starting when the last faucet was turned on. This is what we call flushing your pipes. Be sure to check that the water is draining properly. You may want to capture some of the water for your plants. After 30 minutes, start on the top floor and turn off all the faucets working your way downstairs. Once all the water is off, reassemble your aerators and screw them back into the faucets. After construction, there is one more step to do every day for the next 30 days. When you wake up in the morning, or if your water has not been used for several hours, run cold water through a kitchen or bathroom faucet for five minutes before using the water for drinking, cooking, or preparing infant formula. This will clear any debris that was sitting stagnant in your plumbing. It will also flush away any lead particles. Doing this step will also bring fresh water from the water main in the street. If you are in Denver Water's lead reduction program, continue using the water pitcher and filter for drinking, cooking, preparing infant formula, or when making tea, coffee, or other beverages. You should continue filtering water for six months after your lead service line was replaced. Customers in the lead reduction program will also be offered a free home water testing kit four months after construction. This test will help confirm that lead levels have been reduced. For all customers, it's a good idea to continue cleaning your aerators and flushing your pipes every six months as part of your regular household maintenance to have safe, great tasting water.